there will be people lining up for you. <laughs> you want to give me some names? I kissed a Pete surgeon. I think you'll know. Problem is a Pete's thing. She's... <laughs> she's perky. Calliope. I haven't seen you around. Yeah, well, I've been avoiding you. Anyway, um, do you want to go on a date with me? I spend my entire day around newborns, so I, I try not to in my personal life. Thanks for asking, though. You don't have to do this. We don't have to be friends. It's a big hospital with lots of floors, lots of place to hide. And I'm perfectly okay with doing that for the next few years. You're not hearing me, Calliope. I'd like to take you to dinner. I'll, uh, get back to you. How's, uh, tomorrow? I'm happy now, okay? I'm, I'm dating someone now, and I'm happy. Dad, this is Arizona Robbins. This is who I'm dating now. He uh, gave me an ultimatum. Said if I didn't come home, he'd cut me off. So I cut him off. I mean, if he can't accept me for who I am, I cut him off. Are you okay? I mean, yeah. I... We went to a fancy restaurant. What? Do you know what I was doing before they brought over the check? I was counting in my head. Because my father disowned me and has cleared out my bank account, I am broke. Hi. And I am exhausted, Arizona. I wanted to stay in last night. I thought, I thought that last night would be the night for us. You know, our night. She wanted to go to a fancy restaurant. And I can't do that. I can't. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, so we stay in and we'll eat sandwiches. <laughs> you don't even like sandwiches. But I like the girl who has the sandwiches. Jesus, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus, blessed are those who have been persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is my savior, Daddy, not you. And Jesus would be ashamed of you for judging me. He would be ashamed of you for turning your back on me. He would be ashamed. I don't need a father. Not one who won't accept me. And I protect the things I love. Not that I need to. She doesn't need it. She's strong and caring and honorable. And she's who you raised her to be. Does she make you happy? Yes, Dad. She makes me very happy. How does little Gray know about your birthday? And I don't. Birthdays are just days like any other days. I don't like them. Don't celebrate them. No big deal. There's hats and gifts and, and, and donuts and laundry. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love you. I do. I do. I love you too. <laughs> well, I'm in it for all but the kids. What? Mm, no kids. By no, I mean yikes. No, to the kids. <laughs> You're joking, right? Mm -mm. Arizona doesn't want kids in her womb, in her house, ever. She told me. What'd you say? Nothing. I mean, we're doing so great. I don't want to ruin it by being the crazy, desperate girl with the aching womb. You gotta tell her. Um, I just... I want to have a baby. At some point in my life. That's all. 
It doesn't I, make any sense. You know what? I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Because it's not natural. It's not womanly. Maybe I'm cold and heartless and dead inside. No, I'm not saying that. Well, I'm, yeah, but a little no, bit you are. No. Our baby won't be your brother. I mean, knock on wood, but... Do you know how happy our baby will be? I'm not broken. I'm not some psychodrama. My lack of interest in having a child is not some pathology that you can pat yourself on the back for having diagnosed. I like my life. I like it the way that it is. I don't want it to change. I thought I liked it with you in it. I hope I'm not wrong. Who needs that, right? I don't need that. They scream, they cry me, they smell like poop. The house smells like poop. Don't. Don't. Can I call you if it's late at night and I'm kind of drunk and I run across an old John Hughes movie? <sighs> Use that. Oh. If the spirit moves you. girl's number. I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. I don't want to use it. But I, I can't stop wondering if maybe she wants a baby one day. I love you. Everything about you. But there's this one thing that I need. I can't change it. I can't ask you to change. I don't want you to change. I can't be the one that keeps you from having a baby. I love you too. here has been awarded the prestigious Carter Madison grant. That just means I'm moving to Africa. If the situation were reversed, I would turn the thing down. I wouldn't even consider moving to another continent right now. I would say things are better between us now. Yes, we worked it out even with Arizona moving to Africa. It's just uh, pretty simple, actually. I'm going with it. Fine, I don't want to go to Africa. I do want to be with you. I'm gonna miss my plane. You take care of yourself. No! No! You stay here and be happy. And I'll go there and be happy. If you get on that plane, if you go without me, we are done. Do you hear me? We are over. We are standing in the middle of an airport screaming at each other. We're already over. 
Arizona's an idiot, and she's a fool, and you need to go there and tell her that I told you to say what the two of you have is rare, and, and that she's an idiot. Get on an airplane and go to Africa, and thank God that you never have to go on a first date again. Yeah, I'm not going to Africa. Well, then you're just as big an idiot as she is. I'm in Africa, and everything's great. I can actually see that I'm making a difference, but I'm crying. And then this guy that I work with at the clinic finally asked me what's wrong, and I say that I miss my girlfriend. Like, like I really miss her. So then he asks me if I want to go back, if they could replace me, and, and then I open my mouth to say no, but what comes out weirdly is yes. yes. And so they did. And then I came back. At some point, you're going to have to forgive me, and it may as well be now because I am in love with you, Calliope, and you are in love with me, and all I'm asking for is one more chance. You want another chance? Yes. More than anything, I want another chance. Today I found out that I'm pregnant with Mark's baby. about now. I want you to be a part of my plan. So, are you in? Are you out? I'm in. You don't get to tell me that we're not together. We are together. Because I love you and you love me and then the rest of it matters. We are together. Now you sit your ass back down there because that's my baby in there and I don't want anything happening to my baby. Your baby, huh? Our baby. There was a heartbeat. <laughs> and it was... We're having a baby. I didn't get you anything. You got me a shower. Open it. It's B&B &B a few hours away. We leave in the morning. But I have patience. You have patience. Look, look, look. I'm extending an olive branch here. Let me, let me take you to stupid B&B &B for the weekend. Thank you. Oh, Just what the hell? hell? What? This is, this is, this is time for us. It's just for us, and the first thing that you want to do is talk to Mark. So you just said it was okay. This is jealousy. Arizona, you are jealous of Mark. Get over it. What? Do, do you blame me? I am doing my best here to make sure that you are happy. I don't know what else I can do, to be honest. Please tell me, because I'll do it. Whatever will make you happy, I will do it. Mary.
Pizza and drink beer in bed with my wife. <laughs> I'll see you later, Dr. Torres. And I met the most amazing woman. Your wife is bonkers. Yeah, but she's cute. You are so damn cute. How did she get through a workday with you? I don't know. <laughs> don't. Never leave. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. I'm here, and that's how this works. I'm married to an orthopedic surgeon, and I'm staring at my bone. I am so sorry. Uh, about your wife. I mean, I heard and... Thank uh... you. <laughs> uh, I can't keep doing this alone, Arizona. Get the hell out of bed and snap out of this. If not for me, then for Sophia. Please, please don't give up on it's me. Arizona, I'm not. I promise, I promise me I... you won't let them take my leg. Snap out of this. Snap out of this. I promise. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to snap out of this when you cut off my leg? I do, I promise, okay, I promise you. <laughs> She's your wife, not your patient. She's not, though. She's not my wife. I don't know who she is. It's like... You're looking at her, but there's nothing inside. I feel like she's just this shell. All the Arizona's been scooped out, and she's just this shell now, and I want her back. My wife is the doctor that's going to fix Derek Shepard's million-dollar hand. She's that good. Okay, stop. You're freaking me out now. Did you fall? Are you, are you okay? Do I look okay? You are outstanding. I'm sitting in a pool of my own urine. And I love you. I love you, too. No, just get it out! Hey! Do not talk to me that Please, way! Please! Please! Get out! Did you hear me? You did that! Get I am not get sorry! Off. My life was my... Get out! I have nowhere else to go! This is my life now, too! <laughs> What happened? What? <laughs> I got back up. You all right in there? You have no idea what oh, it's like. Oh, trust me. Trust me. I am intimately familiar with what's going on, and I'm over it. You are exactly the same person you were before, just minus a leg. You think it's nothing? No, I think it's everything. But there comes a point where you have to suck it up and stop whining and start living. Please don't run. What? I've been awful. But I can't lose you. So please, don't run. After the car accident. You never left my side. 
There's no way I'm leaving Paris. I thought, I thought we were past the hard stuff. I thought, I thought we were finally good. We were. We, we are. We're married. I know. We, God, we have a child. I know. How could you do this? You are allowed. After all, all that's happened this year, everything we've been through, everything we survived, the bankruptcy, Mark, the plane. Oh, you weren't on the plane, Callie! And you keep acting like you were, but you weren't, and it wasn't your experience. I lost Mark. You almost died. I you lost Mark, and you almost died. You weren't on that freaking plane! You wanted the street cred, the badge of honor, the warrior wounds, the great stick up your leg, and I will go grab a boat so I left even the score. Oh! <laughs> it always comes back to the leg. I trusted you more than anything. More than anyone in my life. And you decided to cut it off. To save your life! You didn't lose anything! I did! I did! <laughs> Apparently, I lost you. Callie? Callie! I've been wishing you hadn't told me. I've been picturing you screwing that woman. I made a mistake. I don't think it was a mistake. You did something impulsive. It seemed right at the time, and uh, you made a mistake. But I, I would like to know if you'll come home. We will fix it. No, we won't. That's the whole problem. You've been trying to fix it. Our marriage, you've been trying to fix me, and you're so good, you're killing yourself just to fix me. It's not working, and you know it. Before I did. I want so much for you, Arizona. For both of us. So much more than this. Do you miss me at all? Of course. Just. Not enough. Oh, Lion Bee, they used to call her not. The one thing that all custody cases have in common is that they are always a battle. So are you sure this is a battle you want to fight? My ex-wife wants to move across the country and take our daughter, so... Yeah. We did this wrong. We had a chance to do it right. We missed it. Sophia deserves to have two happy moms. <laughs> I'm saying, let's all be happy. Thank you. I miss Mama. And I think I need to move back with her. You know what is a catastrophe? Is that every time I get a text from Callie, I smile. What? I mean, now because she's single and I'm single? No, 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 no. No one has ever in the history of my life hurt me like Callie. It's not a catastrophe that Callie's making you smile again. I agree. Actually, yeah. It's pretty beautiful. I think you'll know.